There are an estimated 224 identified languages in Los Angeles County, making it the most linguistically diverse region of the United States. About one in every three residents of Los Angeles County faces a language barrier when seeking medical care. To see how one health care facility makes language access possible for a diverse population, we headed to Rancho Los Amigos National Rehabilitation Center. Bilingual signage in Spanish and English helps individuals with everything from parking to registration. Once inside, signs throughout the facility remind patients that they have a right to an interpreter, like this sign in the top five languages spoken by patients at Rancho Los Amigos, and this one with the top 20 languages spoken in Los Angeles County. Rancho Los Amigos is the first rehabilitation hospital in the world to implement a wireless video interpreting system. We met with Lily Wong, the director of the Language and Culture Resource Center, who showed us how the system works when a patient and clinician need to request an interpreter. And then we click directory and choose Spanish and then call. Welcome to the Healthcare Interpreter Network. Your call may be monitored or recorded for training and quality purposes. So the system is now routing to see which interpreter is available in, in the network. Mm -hmm. This is Rosie David, the Spanish interpreter at A107. How may I help you? Hey, Rosie. Yeah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes, yeah, Rosie. Rosie is actually sitting in an office not that far away from Lily's office. But by interpreting remotely, even though she's at the same facility as the patients and clinicians she's serving, she can assist more quickly than if she had to walk from one building to another on a sprawling campus like the one at Rancho Los Amigos. Each interpreter's background is decorated in such a way that it will make the patient feel some sense of cultural recognition. For example, a piece of artwork that looks familiar and helps make the patient feel more at home. For rehabilitation and physical therapy sessions, it's extremely helpful for the interpreter to be able to see the movements and exercises that the clinician is describing. The video conferencing unit in front of Rosi lets her see that, and the headphones help her to hear and obtain best possible audio quality. Because he has an appointment all the way up to April 23rd to see the doctor, and I don't think I don't think he's going to have enough medication until then. They then we visit Kelly, another Spanish interpreter at Rancho Los Amigos. Kelly has a separate monitor that she can use to engage in computer-assisted interpretation, looking up terms or pulling up anatomical charts and other tools as needed to make the complex task of interpreting a little bit easier. Video interpreting is not without its challenges, but it's one clear example of how technology is helping to bridge the chasm between the short supply and the growing demand for interpreting services. In the case of Rancho Los Amigos, they've already increased patient access to interpreters and interpreter productivity by 50%.